the Gordon Stakes is next. This is a mile and a half listed race. And at the top we've got Sweet Chaos, Obi-Wan and Raiding Party, Leon Van Rensburg. Both of those big group one winners. Raiding Party won the Derby. They've got massive penalties in this listed race. Milwaukee, Pepito, Vinnie Gerard, Mix of Intrigue, Joshua Sutherland, World Class, David Hooney, Fraser Project, Michael Scarlett, Joyrider, Dan Hughes, Gambit, Martin Leader, Morse, Paul Rhodes, Rapturous Calm, Craig Allen, Whitechapel, Tan, Martin Leader, and Shimna Camellia for Dan Hughes. That's the 12 then. All installed and ready to go. And away they go. And the raiding party was away quickly, but so too down on his near side was Sweet Chaos, who likes to go from the front. And Morse is also one who likes to be up in the leading group as well. So they sorted themselves out through the first furlong or so then. And it's Sweet Chaos. And Morse disputing the lead, and that's a battle. But Sweet Chaos will always win. It likes to bowl along in the lead, and it's got plenty of pace. Under a big penalty today, though, for that big group one win. Early win the season. Morse is in second. Whitechapel Town is third. Alongside the Derby winner, Raiding Party has also got that massive penalty for being a Group 1 dropping all the way down. A Group 1 winner dropping all the way down into listed class. Then the Grey Gambits after that mix of intrigue is on the outside. Then a little bit of a gap back to World Class and Shimna Chameleon. Milwaukee Pepito wide on the track. The third Grey is Joyrider. Raptorous car on that one's inside and Fresser Project. Is just the back marker, but Sweet Chaos is clear by a good five lengths to Morse and Raiding Party. Then Gambit, Whitechapel Town, mix of intrigue, then world class on the inside. And then Bolden the line, a good old clip. Uh, Sweet Chaos is clear in the lead, but only by about three now to the Raiding Party on the inside. Second, Gambit running a big race in third. Morse has just lost his place and dropped back into fourth. On the inside of that one is world class, then mix of intrigue and Shimna Camellia, Rapturous Calm is getting closer. Fresser Project is also trying to weave its way through the field. Whitechapel Town's totally lost its place, and Joyrider and Milwaukee Pepito haven't really got into it yet. But they're past the four, and it's Sweet Chaos in the lead from Raiding Party Gambit and Mix of Intrigue. Then Morse is back in fifth with World Class Shimna Camellia. And Fraser Project trying to get anywhere as well. Joyrider is still there. Rapturous Calm is trying to come through with everyone, but it's still Sweet Chaos in front. Morse is the one throwing down a challenge now in second. Raiding Party looking to be struggling under that big weight. Gambit still running a big race there. Mixed the entry. Fraser Project. Rapturous Calm coming through. And also on the wide outside there. Shimna Camellia is the one coming through with everyone, but Morse has hit the front. Morse inside the final third. And can he break all that run a second? It's Morse in front from Sweet Chaos. But here comes Fraser Project. And Fraser Project sweeps right Side, sweet Chaos fights back, and now Rapturous Calm comes through, and so too does Swim the Camellia. It's close on the line. It's really close. And I think the Cray Allen horse, Rapturous Calm, may have got up Sweet Chaos, setting that race up for the closes, really, with that tremendous early pace. And it's finished well itself. Well, man, I finished fourth Sweet Chaos under that big penalty. Rapturous Calm for Craig Allen wins it. Shimna Camellia. Oh, Dan Hughes second, mix of intrigue. Oh, Joshua Sutton was third, and then Sweet Cars fourth for Obi Wan Lake. You can see it, 10 stone 7. Yeah, that's a carry. And Morse was in fifth for Paul Rhodes, and Raiding Party was sixth for Leon Van Rensburg. The Derby when they carrying a penalty as well. Not quite as big as Sweet Cars though, but I think that was probably the problem for those two. Dropping down into a listed race, probably not the best idea for a Group 1 winner.